As we grow older, many of us consider purchasing a new home to live in during our golden years. More and more people choose to live in over 55 plus communities which they call retirement homes and enjoy their lives in a 55 plus community or active adult community. Over 55 plus communities have many benefits, but there are also problems that you may not be aware of. So today, I will be talking about seven problems or issues that you may be facing if you consider living in a 55 plus community or active adult community. Please stand by, it's coming right after this. Hi there, this is Lynn Alvarez, your trusted realtor in Charlotte and the surrounding areas. My husband Albert Alvarez and I have been working in Charlotte and the surrounding areas for over 20 years now. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button below and like this video if you feel that it has given you some value. While living in an over 55 plus community has many pros, there are also cons so make sure you understand the potential downsides before making this big decision in your life. Here are the seven biggest problems with over 55 plus communities. Homes are expensive. Here in the Charlotte area, homes in 55 plus communities are expensive nowadays depending on the location, size of the home, and the amenities they offer. Houses in older communities run from $395,000 for a small 1,400 square foot home to $700,000 for larger homes. New construction homes are more expensive from mid 400s to high 800s. Homes are smaller. Downsizing to a smaller home isn't necessarily a negative. Roughly two thirds of retirees consider moving into a smaller home when they finish working. Smaller homes require less maintenance, the utility bills are lower, and moving can free up cash. High HOA dues. The HOA dues in most 55 plus communities in North Carolina, specifically 55 plus communities in the Charlotte area are high. They run from $250 to $425 per month. HOA dues are higher than regular communities because they include yard maintenance and great amenities. And some communities include water, cable, and club memberships in the monthly HOA fees. Lack of age diversity. Since active adult communities usually require a minimum of one person in the residence be at least 55 years old, there is a lack of age diversity within the community, unless family members with children are visiting. However, there are some younger residents that are still working full-time. No care services are included. Active adult communities or 55 plus communities do not provide health care services of any kind as part of the monthly HOI fees. These communities are not retirement centers or assisted living facilities. Basically, 55 plus communities would fall under the same category as aging at home. If you are looking for communities that provide senior services, you should be looking at assisted living facilities. Clicks and gossips. Most of the residents are no longer working and with so much time on their hands, they tend to get into other people's business. They complain a lot and whine a lot about everything. The Facebook group in the neighborhood is where you usually read all the complaints and frustrations of some nosy neighbors. Your friends might pass away. People move into age-restricted 55-plus communities with the intention of meeting new friends there. Unfortunately, these communities have a fairly high mortality rate. It is a tragic experience watching friends and neighbors pass away. Even though there are problems in 55-plus communities, there are lots of benefits to enjoy your life to the fullest. Check it out!
I'd like to hear your thoughts about living in 55 plus communities or active adult communities. So please leave your comment below. If you're thinking of moving into one of the communities in Charlotte and the surrounding areas, please let us know how we can help you. Visit our website, charlotteactiveadults.com to search for homes for sale in Charlotte, Lake Norman, and other places where you can enjoy your retirement years here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Once again, my name is Lynn Alvarez with the Alley Group Real Estate. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel below. You may be interested to watch other videos right here. If you are relocating to Charlotte, please see the description below and get a free relocation guide. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you on my next video. Have a great day and bye for now.